Mary Reed, along with her accomplices, Anne Bonny and Calico Jack Rackham, were the most famous of pirates during the golden age of piracy. Reed's mother was married to a sailor. When he went missing at sea, she started an extramarital affair and fell pregnant with Mary. Mary was born in 1685. As she was growing up, her mother would disguise Mary as her son who had previously died in order to still get financial support from her mother-in-law. The disguise worked, and Mary's grandmother paid for Mary's upkeep well into her adolescence. When Mary became of working age, she started work as a footboy before joining the crew of a ship. She joined the British military and served in a campaign against the French. She fell in love with a Flemish soldier and revealed her true identity. They married and opened an inn in the Netherlands called the Three Horseshoes. After her husband's demise, she reassumed her male identity and boarded a ship for the West Indies. While en route in the Caribbean, the ship was attacked by pirates. We can't be sure whether it was by force or voluntary, but Mary decided her best course of action was to become a pirate. She joined the crew of the famous pirate Calico Jack Rackham. On Calico Jack's ship, Mary became known as a willing and ruthless pirate. Still hiding the fact that she was a woman, at some point she fell in love with the ship's carpenter. One day, the carpenter got into a fight with a fellow pirate, and they agreed to duel. However, rather than see her love in mortal danger, Mary also forced the pirate to a duel and fought him first. Mary won the fight. Later, on ship, she was a target of a romantic approach by Anne Bonny. Anne was Calico Jack's lover, and was also a fearsome pirate disguised as a man. It seems they did a joint reveal, although the historical details of this are sketchy at best. Either way, Anne introduced Mary to Calico Jack, and the three became lovers. Their piracy and their notoriety grew. On the receiving end of their piracy, a survivor, Dorothy Thomas, left a description of Reed and Bonnie. They were men's jackets and long trousers and handkerchiefs tied about their heads. And each one of them had a machete and pistol in their hands. And they cursed and swore at the men to murder us. She continued, I could tell they were women from the largeness of their chests. The governor of the Bahamas proclaimed all three as pirates and enemies to the crown of Great Britain. On the 15th of November, 1720, a pirate hunter by the name of Captain Jonathan Barnett surprised Rackham's crew while they were enjoying a rum party. He ordered a volley of fire which disabled Rackham's ship. The crew fled to the hold, leaving the women and one other to defend the ship from the boarding party. To try and rouse the pirates into action, Mary fired a pistol into the hold and shouted, If there's a man among ye, you'll come up and fight like the man you ought to be! But it was in vain. The ship was eventually captured, and Anne Bonny, Calico Jack and Mary Reed were all captured and imprisoned. The three were taken to Jamaica and convicted and sentenced to capital punishment. Upon sentencing, Anne reportedly shouted in court to her former lover, if you had fought like a man, you need not have died like a dog. Several days after sentencing, Anne Bonny and Mary Reed claimed they were pregnant in what was known at the time as pleading the belly. If convicted, women who were pregnant were given a reprieve to deliver the child before the ultimate sentence was carried out. Many women granted such reprieves were then granted pardons or had their sentences commuted after the birth of their child. Both women were kept in prison during their pregnancy. Jack's sentence was carried out on the 17th of November, 1720. He was 37 years old. Mary succumbed to a fever while in prison. Her 28th of April, 1721 burial is in the records of St. Catherine's Church in Jamaica. There are no records of Anne Bonny's release or any other history following her imprisonment. Many have speculated as to what became of her after her time in prison.